What is going on, you guys? It is Icy Advice, and I'm back with a brand new video here today. And today, I am going to be showing you guys how to install any Halo 3 map mod. Today, before I get into the video, I just want to say um, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a subscription and hit that like button and that bell icon for more content like this. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's check it out. All right, guys, so here we are on the Nexus Mods website. Now, for all of you guys that are learning how to actually install these mods, Nexus Mods is going to be the website that you're going to want to go to uh, for these mods, unless the mod creator tells you to go to a different website, like he uploaded it to Mediafire or ModDB. But for the most part, Nexus Mods is going to be your trustable website there for, you know, these map mods. This is pretty much the central for, or the hub for all of Halo MCC's mods so let's just get straight into this thing so as you guys can see here on my screen here we have a bunch of mods in here and you can see i have some of them downloaded but here are we're gonna go through all these tabs um at least the ones that i know what they mean so we'll just start it from left to right and i'll just kind of showcase all the stuff that's in here and then we'll actually go into an installation tutorial so obviously new today this is pretty self-explanatory it's just the new mods that came out in the last 24 hours of this day new for this week pretty self-explanatory for the last week uh popular 30 days popular all time those are self-explanatory most of these mods are going to be broken though that are in the popular all time just because they usually don't get updated which is unfortunate but more trending uh some of this stuff will work and i'm sure some of it is actually broken but most of this is just trending stuff that you know a lot of people are downloading and trying out random self-explanatory random mods spongebob multiplayer announcer all right anyways and then updated so this basically this updated tab just shows all the you know recently updated mods so if you have like a mod that you want to download, but you're not sure if it's going to be updated or not, you can go to the updated section and just kind of scroll through here and press view more and you can just check out a ton of new updates to some of these mods that people have created. Tracks content updates. These are for, you know, mods that either you created or that you uh, want to be tracking uh, for updates. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool. But first of all, we're going to start off by installing Arc AI War. So, you guys don't have to obviously install Arc, Arc AI War. You can just select a mod from this area here and just pick one and download it. Whatever one you want. If you want Nighttime Lone Wolf, Red Genitor Gorge. I think that's how you say that. You can download that one. Whatever. And just keep in mind that not all these mods will be here when you check it out. Just so you know. That's pretty self-explanatory. So, let's go on and let's check this thing out. So, here's Arc AI War. This is made by Rejected Shotgun, by the way. You can check out his description here. He'll tell you kind of, you need to be on blue team, some basic details of the mod as well. And sometimes you'll get lucky and he'll tell you how to install it. Moving on here, you can check out the images, the videos, the docs, the posts, bugs, all that kind of stuff, log stats. I mean, the, the posts and bugs is about probably all you'll go to. Maybe images, maybe videos, whatever you choose to do. So we have a campaign map and a multiplayer slash forge map. So these are really easy to install. I'm just going to say that. So what you want to do is to go ahead and press manual download. It'll take you to here. You want to just press slow download. It'll count down for five seconds. And you should see in the top right or wherever your downloads thing is for your browser. For me, it's I have Opera browser. So mine is going to pop up in the top right section here of the browser. And that'll just have your download speeds and whatnot. And uh, yeah, that'll complete your download for you. So now when you guys have downloaded your file, you'll have to head over to your downloads folder and it'll appear in one of these folders. For example, if I just open this folder, you'll see a bunch of crap in here. Just ignore most of it. Um, but you'll have like a zip file or a .map file or whatever the download was. Mostly it's going to be a zip file. And all you have to do is actually just double click on it. And I've actually got the mod right here. Um, so we're just going to go to here. And you can drag and drop it into a different folder if you want. If you have a Halo, you know, MCC mods folder like I do, I have mine sorted by each and every single game. You can do that, or you can just leave them in your downloads folder. However you want to open these files, it doesn't matter. Just, or wherever you want to store these files, rather. It doesn't matter where you put them. Just, just put them in some place where you know they're at. Now we have the folder open here. It's a .zip file. You will need WinRAR. Um, you could literally just go on the internet and just type in WinRAR download, and you'll be able to find one. Um, it's pretty simple. Usually it's the top link uh, or top website link, whatever you want to say, uh, that has the correct WinRAR download. So you just double click on it after you installed WinRAR and everything and it'll open like this and you'll see some files in here. You got a how to install .txt and a Halo 3 map folder here or Halo 3 uh, file folder here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. 
and we're going to go going to go into the maps folder you'll see shrine.map now you may, may be asking uh, how do i get to my mcc mods folder so just a disclaimer this is only for steam users i don't know how it works on the microsoft store as i don't have the microsoft store version of mcc but this is how steam works you want to go ahead and go into steam you want to right click on your mcc here press manage and then browse local files and that'll basically just pull up a folder that looks similar to this now if this doesn't you know pop up and show this um maybe you didn't install your mcc correctly moving on you should see all these halo 1 2 3 odst 4 reach folders in here just go to the halo 3 folder you'll see a ton of folders in here as well now today like i said all we're going to be showing you how to do is to install a dot map file you're going to go into the maps folder and you're going to look for the corresponding dot map name so in my example or in my case here we have shrine.map if you go into the mcc or uh, halo3.maps folder and you'll find shrine.map now you'll see obviously a ton of a uh, ton of files in here and you'll also see you know these couple folders maybe at the top maybe you won't um, for me, I actually do. These are basically the dot map files that will uh, have the changes uh, stored on the file. That's basically how these work. For example, like I said, we're gonna be shown Shrine. So what you wanna go ahead and do, is you wanna actually right click on the shrine.map and you wanna press copy, all right? Once you do that, you wanna go find a nice safe folder where you know where you, this file is gonna be placed. This is very important that you do this. So then you wanna go find, make, I don't know, like a Halo 3 backups folder or something like that. So then you want to go into the Halo 3 backups folder, go into the dot maps folder. You can set it up how I have it set up. I'll have a zoomed in here. And, and that's how my directory is set up. Games mods, uh, mods, MCC, Halo 3, backups, dot maps. This is basically to make a backup of this file in case you want to go back online and play the game online. That means like matchmaking and CGB. The next thing that you want to do after you copy and pasted or copied that file, you want to press Control V, or you can right click and press paste. And for me, I have this, you know, the destination has a file already named, shrine.map. Um, you will not have this. Um, this won't pop up. So I'm just going to press replace the file in destination. And it's going to go ahead and actually copy this item from the MCC maps folder into your backups folder. So like i said that's why you need to know where this backups folder is so like i said if you want to go play cgb with some of your friends or just in general and you want to play some matchmaking maybe you have to have all this stuff the default maps if you don't you might have a chance of being banned from mcc and i know you don't, guys don't want that to happen after you have made the backup now we can move on to the next step and that's actually going to be installing this map so you can see we have the shrine.map. It is in the Arc AI War uh, folder here. Drag and drop the shrine.map into your Halo 3 maps folder. Not your backups folder, your MCC directory, your Halo 3 maps. And you want to go ahead and press replace the file in destination. What this is basically going to do is it's going to replace the file. Delete that file basically and place this file over that file and overwrite it basically. We'll wait until this is completed and there we are, we have it completed. You can see it at the bottom here, shrine.map, if we just refresh this, it'll go back to its right spot, uh, or spot, not spot. Gosh. Um, anyways, so let's move on to the next step. After you've installed the dot map, you want to go into your Steam, press on MCC, press play, play Halo MCC, anti-cheat disabled mods and limited protection, I think that's what it says. Um, but yeah, just press play. And I'm going to minus out Steam, and you'll see the MCC will pop up here in a second. There it is. And we are booting up MCC. I will see you guys in the menu. All right, guys, here we are in MCC. Now let's go ahead and go into Arc. You can go into multiplayer or whatever. If it's a campaign map, then obviously you'll have to go into the campaign. And then Halo 3, and then you'll have to boot it up in that way. But mine was actually a multiplayer and or forge map. So we're going to go into multiplayer, Halo 3, and we're going to find the Arc which should be back here, I believe. I might actually have to check that file name. Yep, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Let me go into the folder here. So yeah, sometimes you'll have this, you know, where you don't know where it is. So um, we're gonna open this thing up. So it's there, launch Sand Trap. Okay, so that's the map that he actually replaced, or that we replaced rather, is Sand Trap. Let's go ahead and find Sand Trap um, because that is the map that we replaced. There it is. Load up Sand Trap and go into Team Slayer and play on blue team in my case to be on the unsc side go on to blue team and you're going to go ahead and start up your match now you may be thinking you know 
is this going to be loading sand trap no it's not because we actually replaced that file and it's no longer going to be loading sand trap instead it is going to be loading um rejected shotguns custom map um which is uh coincidentally it's kind of like uh sand trap it's the same new map so yeah let's load in here we are and welcome to arc ai war so this i actually have to do a mod showcase on yet i haven't done it yet so this will be coming soon but anyways as you can see the pelican and the warthogs are all moving in and this is completely working a custom map made by rejected shotgun with ai and a whole lot of fun and enjoy halo 3 mods man the mod tools are out um let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to showcase kind of how to mod there already is a guy on youtube by the name of frying pan he's actually really good at his tutorials and he's actually the one that taught me how to mod as well but if you guys want to see you know some tutorials by me i can certainly do it let me know in the comment section down below and while they are dead they are gone my name is i see i hope you guys are having a great day and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out